So my seventh fundamental principle for improving your chess may surprise you a little bit, but it is to make sure that you are having fun or, you know, have fun. Um, many of you likely started chess because you thought it was fun. Now, if you're looking to improve, maybe you have some really ambitious goals. And as you're thinking about trying to reach those goals, the, the thoughts that come to your mind is, is about all the work it's going to take and how hard it's going to be and, and the commitment. And, and you probably don't think too much about, oh, yeah, it's going to be fun to work really hard every day. Usually that's not how it works. That's not how we think about it. No, we think about it, rightfully so, as hard work that, it, that it's going to take to reach our goals. Now, that is 100% true. I'm not, I'm, I don't have a, an answer to, to get rid of the hard work and achieve your goals in the, the absolute most fun way. Um, that's, that's just super easy and anyone can do it. No, it's going to take hard work. That's, that's principle number one. Work smart and hard. You cannot replace that. That is the foundation. But if you work so hard, that you start to not enjoy chess, you're not gonna study as hard, you're not gonna play as well, and you're really going to question why it is you're, you're doing all of this to reach your goals, because it's not fun anymore. You don't enjoy it anymore. And you know, some parts of it are going to be hard and you are not going to enjoy as much. For me, the thing I, I feel like I struggled a little bit was analyzing my games. And it wasn't that, you know, just going over my games that I was like, oh, you know, I played so terribly. Like, I, I know that. I, I can see what the computer says. And I, I, I know I, I could have played better, but I just didn't find it as fun as some of the other parts of studying chess and working on chess. And so the two recommendations I would make for just keeping it fun or at least having some fun in your life is if you are feeling a little burnt out, you know, take some time, just, you know, probably just get online and just play some games for fun. Just don't stress about it. Don't worry about it. Whatever, whatever time control you feel like is fun, what, whatever you need to do to just remember that you enjoy chess like that. If you're really reaching that point, you're feeling burnt out, do that. Now, I think if you are going to play a little bit of a faster time control a little more often to kind of keep that element of fun, then play, you know, blitz, which is, you know, three minute games, five minute games. Um, avoid doing too much bullet, too, min too much one minute games. But I, I think some blitz, even in a little bit more consistent level, is not too bad. And if that's what it takes for you to, to remember that you enjoy chess and, and to have fun as you're working really hard, then do it. Now, the other thing, because there are going to be some elements of working hard and working on chess that you just cannot replace. You can't really change it in any way to just make it fun. So the other thing that you can do that really helped me growing up, my parents were awesome, it's, it's something I, I still kind of do now that I'm older, is if I have something that I'm like, uh, not too excited about, then I'll say, okay, what, what's something I want? What's something I want to buy? Or what's uh, maybe a dessert I really like? And it will, uh, suddenly it goes from, okay, this is hard work to, okay, yes, it's hard work. But if I do this, then this is what my reward is going to be. And, and my parents as well, when I was younger, that's what they would do. And, and I would recommend the same to you. Well, you know, what are your goals? Well, maybe you're trying to work and study five hours a day on chess. Well, say, okay, I'm going to do five hours a day. I'm going to keep track of that, keep track of what I'm doing. As soon as I hit 100 hours, this is what I'm, you know, going to go reward myself with or whatever it is. Or, you know, if you do really well at a tournament, then, you know, go have a nice dinner. You know, just something to take the, just the hard work and, and keep it fun, keep it enjoyable. Because those goals that you are striving, they, yeah, it's going to be hard. But those are two ways and two things that if you do, it will really help you to keep the motivation and to not burn yourself out. So uh, that's my seventh fundamental principle. The next one coming next week. Look forward to it. 
and I'll catch you then.